Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining channel. In today's video, we are going to do another flux node on a VPS. But this time around, there's a slight twist. We'll be doing a Nimbus node and we'll be making use of what I like to call a managed VPS. Now, if you do like the flux content, please like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of that, let's jump into the content. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've done a couple of videos around Flux nodes. I started off with a Raspberry Pi, absolutely loved it. Uh, it was my first foray in Linux, but I quickly realized that my internet wasn't fast enough, or at least my upload speed wasn't fast enough, and I needed to look for another solution. At that specific time, there was no Project Titan. Um, you know, it was just a word um, with a couple of hints, but you know, I gravitated to VPSs. I then went about and tested a couple of VPSs. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link in the video description um, and also tag it at the top. But I tested a couple of VPSs uh, with a couple of services, people like Host Nodes, iHost Arts, Netcups, Contabo, Hetzner. So I tested all these. I got my recommendation. At that time, it was around Cumulus. Um, you know, at that time, a VPS was also very profitable, specifically for Cumulus, or was still profitable. Uh, but subsequently, a lot of things has changed. There has been a new player in this space, which is Goldie Tech Notes, which this video is about. So I'm going to go and test their service. Um, and then the price of crypto has dropped drastically. Um, on top of that, Project Titan was actually released. So we've actually got a lot of options now in this space, which is great. You know, first off, we've got the option of managing your own hardware. We have the VPS space. And in that space, I consider there to be two tiers. The first tier being a what I like to call a managed VPS, someone like Host Nodes or Goldie Tech um, or Goldie Tech Nodes, which basically take over the maintenance of the actual hardware for you and specifically on the software side. And then there's the traditional VPSs like Hetzner and Contabo or Netcups or whoever, right? Um, and then on top of that, for people that don't want to be bothered with any one of those options, there is Project Titan as well. So as you can see, lots of options specifically in this space. Now, first off, I wanted to address a couple of questions that I get either on Discord or on Twitter um, or on comments of my videos, and that relates to profitability. It goes something like, is it still profitable to host a Flux node on a VPS? And the typical IT answer for that is, it really depends on who the VPS is, is it going to be up, um, and then which tier it is. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, there's various different options if you wanted to host a Flux node, and all of them are profitable. Um, and again, they are tiered from hardest to easiest in terms of profitability, which in my mind makes total sense. You know, if something is harder or requires more work, um, you know, you should be rewarded more for that. And that's specifically why hosting your own hardware at home is more profitable than doing a VPS. It's just the way that it is. But as I mentioned earlier, people like me, um, you know, that has sucky internet, uh, you know, you don't have another option. And specifically a VPS is definitely still profitable. If I have a look at the various different um, node tiers around Cumulus, Nimbus and Stratus, um, you know, Cumulus at this stage with the current flux play price doesn't really necessarily make a lot of sense, to be honest. And that's why this video is specifically about numbers. So, you know, the numbers numbers makes a little bit more sense. You're looking anything from um, 13 to 15%, depending on what your VPS cost is. And that again, why I don't really like to quote percentages, because it really depends on how many flux nodes is on the network, and then what your specific VPS cost is. But in my mind, it's still more profitable compared to the likes of Titan. So again, as I mentioned, uh, you know, your rewards generally is tiered depending on how easy it is versus how difficult it is. So you obviously get more rewards uh, if you manage to pull off the more difficult setting up flux nodes and you can host it in your home. 
Now, the next thing is pros and cons. And, you know, I'll only touch on what at least what I consider the biggest pro and the biggest cons. Uh, but if you do have more pros or more cons, please specify them in the comments below. But for me, the biggest pro with doing or going with uh, a managed VPS like Hostnodes or Goldie Tech Nodes is the ease of use. So they will take care of setting up uh, you know, the Linux operating system, keeping it up to date, installing Flux, take care of all of those things for you. You don't need to log in. They don't provide you a console or any IP address necessarily with credentials or root credentials for you to log in. They will take care of all of that stuff. So um, it makes it easier from a maintenance perspective, right? Um, you know, they will make sure that everything is up to date and everything is running the way that it should be running to make sure that you're always in the queue uh, and you're actually getting your Flux rewards. Now on the con side, there is really two that I wanted to mention. The first one being profitability. And if you're going with a managed VPS, there is obviously a cost for managing um, and taking over all of the admin associated to updating Linux, making sure the benchmarks are passing, they're up to date, and FluxOS is up to date, right? So there's obviously a cost associated to that. And for that, the profitability will just be lower compared to running your own hardware in your house. It's just the way that it is. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is around trust. Now, if you are going with a managed VPS, it's really in their hands to make sure that your node is always up and running. And, you know, to be honest, that will not be the case. There will be um, times and there has been times where my um, nodes has gone down and that happens either with my own hardware at that time or with a traditional VPS or with a managed VPS, right? Your node will go down. Um, you know, there are things that will just happen. Uh, internet will go down or something will happen. Um, you know, so the trust, you will be putting trust into these managed VPS providers' hands to make sure that they get it up and running as soon as possible. At this stage, there is no SLAs, right? Uh, or a service level agreement that states, I am expecting 99 0.99% uptime or 100% uptime, which you won't get anywhere, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they, they is, you're in their hands to make sure that they get it up and running if there are issues as soon as possible. So it's just important to note, you know, you will not get access to, uh, or at least at this stage, uh, I've asked for it a couple of times, but, um, you know, you will not get access to uh, the actual VPS IP and root credentials to perform whatever you need to perform if, in case you wanted to do something, right? So you will not get, um, you know, that type of control when you go with a managed VPS. Now, if you wanted that control, um, again, either stand up your own hardware or go with a more traditional uh, VPS providers like, um, you know, NetCups or Hetzner or some of those players. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is sponsorship. Now, I am not sponsored by any one of these VPS providers that I talked about in this video or anyone in the past. Uh, none of them provided me a free server to talk about their services or paid for a video or scripted anything. Um, you probably realize by now everything is unscripted. Um, but, you know, I've signed up for these services like any other end user. I'm doing that mainly for two reasons. The first one being that I'm not biased and I have an honest opinion that should be similar, I hope, to anybody else. Um, on top of that, I do it to mitigate my risk. So in case any one of these VPS providers has got an issue either with internet or hardware or whatever, not all my nodes is going to go down. So that's why I spread uh, you know, the different VPS providers that I use. Now, on top of that, for full transparency, what I'm using at this specific point in time is I've got four nodes with host nodes, I've got um, one with Goldie Tech nodes, I've got three with Contabo, which I don't like very much, um, I've got two with NetCups and two with iHostArt. So as you can see, I'm using a whole bunch 
of different VPS providers. If you are again interested in a VPS provider, I would encourage you to use the official Flux list and I'll leave a link in the video description to that to make sure that you can evaluate it and choose based on you know, what you wanted to do. Uh, if you are interested in Goldie Tech Notes, I'll leave a link in a video description that would net you a 10% discount. Again, full disclosure, I would also get 10% discount, um, you know, on my next order in case you use my link. But uh, again, you know, I really don't care. This is not to push Goldie Tech Notes on you. Um, you know, you can use whoever you want. I really don't care, you know, to be honest, who you go with, as long as you are happy at the end of the day and you've made your own decision at the end of the day. That's all that matters to me. But enough of all the disclosures. Let me jump in and show you guys how I'm going to set up a Nimbus node using Goldie Techno services. Okay, so here we are on the computer. Now let's get started. So where I am at the moment is Goldie Techno's website and I'll leave a link in the video description. But what I would like to do first is actually register an account. So I'm just going to select register. And then what I should be doing is specifying a username. So I'll just do this, um, create my username. I'll need to specify an email address. So let's do it like this. Uh, and then country. So I'm in Australia. So I'm going to specify that currency. I'm just going to leave the US dollar. I need to have a password. So let me do that. Okay, I'll do it here. Okay, do I want to join the mailing list? I don't like that. I'm not a robot. Um, and then traffic lights. So let's do that. Let's go verify. And then the last button that I'm going to click on here is register. So give it a second. Once you've verified your email, you should be in the my dashboard section now what will this do or what it will show you is the different services that you've got so obviously i've got zero any quotes that you've got any unpaid invoices so what will happen with unpaid invoices by the way is as soon as your or server is close to expiring it will automatically create an invoice for you to renew it but you don't necessarily have to renew it so um you know i haven't renewed one of mine um specifically when i wanted to roll up Cumulus into Nimbus and what this video is actually about. So um, I know you don't necessarily have to pay all the invoices that comes here. Any tickets that you've logged, you would see the ticket number here. Hopefully there's not a lot, but you never know. There might be issues. Now, what we are interested in or what this video is about is standing up a Nimbus node. And for that, I'm going to click on this button here, order new services. And what it should show me is the different vps options or servers that goldie tech nodes offer so it should show me the difference between cumulus nimbus and stratus and here you can see the current prices so 12 dollars 30 dollars and 60 dollars now specifically in this video i'm interested in nimbus so i'm just going to select the nimbus node here and what i need to do is if i scroll a little bit further down it's now going to ask me for my identity key, collateral ID, and KDA address. Now for that, I need to go back to Zelcor. Now going to Zelcor, I'm just going to open up my Zelcor wallet here. And I've already staked my 12,500. In case you haven't, you would need to stake your actual collateral. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll leave a link in the video description to a video that shows you exactly how to do that, but it's really easy. Now where I'll find this details if I go to apps and then select flux nodes. And here you can see here is my collateral specifically for numbers. So you can see the tier has been registered. Obviously I don't have any details. Now what I'm going to do specifically here is just open it up, select edit. And then I'll find the details actually inside here. So this is where I'll find my identity key. And for that, to copy and paste it, I'm just going to select it. And then paste it in the website. Go back to my wallet. And then get the collateral transaction ID, which is this one. And then it's going to also ask me for a KDA address. Now, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go back here. Um, manage assets. Add an asset and then specify KDA and close it. 
and then show hidden balances. And here is now a KDA address in my Zelcor wallet. And then I'll find my KDA if I just select receive and then go for my account. So this K address is what you need, by the way. So you need the K address and then paste that in there. So as you can see, I've got all my details specified. Now, what I'm going to do next is hit continue. In the checkout section, it will just confirm your details here. So you can see I've ordered a Nimbus node. I don't have any promotional code, but if you did, you can specify that in there. And again, hopefully you can use mine. But if I scroll a little bit further down, it just confirms my billing address and then my payment method here. Now you've got three options specifically for payment. One is Stripe, PayPal, all with Flux. And again, you know, specifically for me, I like paying with Stripe. I don't like using my Flux to pay, especially at this specific point in time. So um, I'm going to keep going with Stripe and then I need to specify my payment details and then hit checkout. So let me go and specify that. Now, once you've specified your credit card details or you've done your Flux payment, you would get a order number like I've got here. Now, what will happen next is I just now need to wait patiently for Goldie to actually set this up and let me know once it's set up so that I can then specify the IP address and details in Zelcor and then start the actual node. So now I just need to sit back patiently and wait for Goldie to actually stand up the actual service for me so this generally and at least in my opinion my time zone is a little bit different to his but normally it's about 24 hours for him to stand this up so i haven't waited a longer than that but you know it depends on how busy he is at the end of the day okay so after waiting patiently probably about an hour or two is actually quite quick i've received two emails from goldie tech notes so the first one stating my order and my invoice so i've got an actual invoice and i'll show you guys what that looks like the second one is that it's actually up and running and it's passing benchmarks. Now, what I'm going to do is a couple of things. So first off, I'm just going to quickly have a look at the benchmark results. And for that, I'm just going to select um, on this specific node here. So as soon as I select it, it's now going to open up this specific service. And then I'm going to click on this actual address here. So as soon as I click on that, it's actually going to open up Flux OS and what I'm going to do is just make sure before I actually start the node in Zelcor that it actually passes the benchmark. So I know I did get an email stating it, it is, but you know, I like to double check these type of things. So what I'm quickly going to do is just make sure it passes the benchmark. So just give it a second. And then I'm going to go benchmark, Flux node, get benchmarks. And then what I should have here is the actual benchmark results. So here I can see four cores, eight threads, uh, 31 gigs of RAM, and it's got some insane uh, DWS and, um, you know, DWS scores. So EPS and DWS is way more than what I need. Also, the upload and download speed is amazing. And I can also see the FluxOS version is also up to date. Now, what I'm going to do next is actually start it up in Zelcor. Now for that, I'm going to go back to Zelcor. I'm going to select apps. I'm going to go flux nodes. And then what I'm going to do here is from within here, I'm just going to open up and edit. So what I like to do is before I start, I just go edit and then specify a name and an IP. So what I like to do here, um, whoops, I'm going to say Goldie numbers one and then paste the IP address in there, hit save. So once I've hit save, you can see the IP address is now um, taken out. But what I'm going to do next is start it up. So I'm going to hit start, start flux node. By the way, um, you know, what you will see is, um, you know, that start button wouldn't come up if I don't have more than 100 confirmations. So those are generally the two things that I like to look at first, right? So Number one, make sure that I've got 100 confirmations on my collateral. And the second thing is making sure that the node's actually passing the benchmarks before I start it. You don't want to go in DOS statement. Uh, so, um, you know, so that's like the naughty corner. Now, all that I need to do is wait 2 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to see that I can find it in the block explorer and that it's sticking and in the queue. So I'm just going to give it about 20 minutes. 
Now, while we wait for this to confirm, let me show you some of the other functions on the Goldie Tech Notes website. So I'm just going to close here in Zellcore. So you can say it's already confirmed, by the way. So I'll go and check that now. But if I go back and just hit the back button and just hit back again, should go back. So some of the other functions that I thought of briefly mentioning. So again, you know, if you wanted to open a ticket and you've got an issue, you just specify this button here to open a ticket. So in case you want Goldie to check out something for you or you're failing some benchmarks. The other thing that is also new. So this is now where you would go and specify um, the issue that you wanted to report. Again, I don't have an issue at the moment, so I'm not doing anything here. The other thing important here is earn so this is a new function that um, goldie has added so if i just select this and this is really generating a link similar to what you would see in the bottom of my video description so it allows you to um, offer somebody a 10 percent discount on their actual order so it's only available i think for new customers and then you will also receive 10 percent off if somebody signs up via your link right so in case you've got family or friends or know anybody else that is not a part of the service already and want to stand up a node um, you know it's a option that is available again you don't obviously have to use my link you can use anybody's link or you can use any service right this is just a option that is there to um, you know encourage people to to sign up now the next thing that i wanted to do is now that my node is confirmed i'm just going to quickly have a look at the payments and you know for that or where i am in the queue i like to use my own website so i've got a tab here open for it so i'm just going to open it up um, and then what I'm going to do is go back to Zellcore and then go into my portfolio, select my flux and then just get my address. I'm just going to go and get my receiving address here, which is this one here. And then I'm going to specify that into my wallet address. So as soon as I hit search, it will now show me, hopefully, uh, if my website is working, that my node is confirmed and where i am more or less in the queue so here you can see you know um you know it's gonna say okay i'm now rank 1920 uh the last reward date is obviously the default date here so i haven't received the reward just yet but that is that and then you would also see all of my benchmark informations and i've actually already got an app listed on my actual node so that's quite interesting that there's already an app on here but you know again i like using my own website to keep track of you know benchmarks and all sorts of other stuff but again i'll do a separate video on that and that's really how easy it is to stand up a node obviously you know if you're only standing it up or you want to stand up a new one it's a lot quicker than what i've showed you guys but it's really that simple to stand up a node with goldie's tech nodes that's it for this one guys if you've liked the video please like it and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers Woo! <laughs>